utility for Carrigan and Chris J over on the side of Mad Lions. It is just armor in place, so no defuse kit. That might be important as this game ticks on. Heavy outside for Mousesports. Two on the side, they're going to be dropping past main and running CT. I love this idea from Mousesports already, taking a lot of control away from Acor, who has to concede and sit back in the spawn. By time has expired, though. No orb to grab here today. He's got to wait. Mousesports, do they want to dedicate time to chasing down this player, especially if he's not giving them fights? Roy, he's hanging around in heaven. He's got a bit of info as he fights back to Frozen. Mousesports, despite taking hell, are going to drop secret to B, and Frozen has actually pushed the ramp player down. He's rotating. Asilian in the B site already is going to hit everything. So Mousesports, they have to be very ready for this position because this is all being telegraphed. Mad Lions know what's going on, even if they're in the wrong places. Asilian deep down, he's dead. Mousesports own the B site. Owen Waxik along with Frozen. Frozen draws them in with the attention, surely. No, he's going to peek later. And there it is, the peek from Frozen, but they both get dealt with immediately. That's a great reaction from Mad Lions. And oh no, Roy's followed up with another. Rops needs to win this fight, and he will. Carrigan holding Ooh. down the site is only good for one. And now it's the door master, Rops. He's trying to not let them back into this round. And oh, Roy's going to take his head clean off. Four in the pistol. For Roy, it's Mad Lions getting their first on the board nice and early out of the gate. Yeah, great retake shots. Mousesports could have definitely tucked and played a lot safer in the post part there, especially once they got control of that secret area, not leaving a player in there. Uh, well, bit of a problem apart from, uh, you know, Rob's waiting decon, but even then he gets immediately killed uh, by Roy get aggressing off the back of the bomb. No kit for Mad Lions either, so time was definitely in the hands of Mousesports, not that they were to know. And even though that was a good fake for Mousesports, right, they actually throw the hell smoke, they take control towards CT, they push Acor back, Mad Lions stack A, they think it's an A take through heaven, and then Mouseballs go back down to B. Like, I like that idea, and it did delay the rotations, but not enough. Mad Lions in control once again, and we're relying on a hero AK on Carrigan. A TV can carry again because it's going to be just him and Deagles. Nice scout shot. And there's the swing. Roy could have gotten so much more, but he does do damage before he perishes. Acor scout finds a scalp and only one gun now for Mouseballs traded over to Frozen. Chris will pick up Carrigan's dropped AK, but no armor behind it. And that bomb is still left back in spawn. I would hate to go out hot. I'd hate to. I'd really hate it. Oh, Frozen trying to creep past outside and he has just gotten around Acor who has no idea. Frozen has got the perfect timing there. And so now on to a second. Innocent is going to try and move his way up into secret. Now, I said I would hate to go out hot. Mouse Sports not going to head out Hut, but instead they're going to run right by Hut, and that's basically Ooh. the same thing. Shush here with the auto shotgun actually gets shut down at the first hurdle, and the bomb plant will come through for Mouse. Now, Asilian's going to deal with Chris J at the very, very least, but he now finds himself locked in a 1v2 that feels unlikely. That Molotov is going to burn them out into the open. Ooh. They face together, and Mao's get that first round on the board. You can see Rops' reaction immediately swings when he sees that Molly come in, and that's the right call, right? You want to save your teammate. You don't want to just let let uh, that last player isolate your, uh, your CT behind Vent or your T behind Vent. But there's a world where they line up there and both die. So it could have gotten messy. Big round for Mouse Sports, right? Uh, considering there were a lot of early kills for Mad Lions. Frozen getting right past the garage and hitting a great timing past the scout really helps in getting Mouse Sports control outside. And now they're going back out there again. Full rifles in the third. Full pistols with an SMG for the Danes. Blade smoke coming through. Frozen will be able to cross or be able to try. He will make it. Mad Lions spam does 30, nothing more. There's more where that came from. Wox is trying to get down towards B as well. Again, what do Mouseports do with this control? That bomb still left back, spawn side, two in the lobby, one holding for outside aggression. That's Carrigan. 
hoping to catch a rotate down secret. And due to this position, his teammates can, you know, never have to worry about the back getting flanked from a yard rotate. Meanwhile, Mad Lions want lobby and they've taken Rops down there with an AK dropped. Oh, he's tucked in the corner, needing support or not, just wins the flat out fight. And if they go up roof, they can find the bomb. Carrigan needs to get it out of here right now. Oh, dearie me. And Carrigan is a long way from the rest of his team. If if he commits to lobby, which he's looking like kind of curious as to what lies in store, I can tell you what lies in store. It's Shush and Innocent, the two players that were just running rampant here. They're still here. And if he loses the bomb, this round should be over for Mouse. This is a huge oh, risk. Yeah. And yeah, I'm not a, you know, I, I never feel obliged to question a decision that Carrigan's made, but I'm not a lover of that one. The re-peak back into lobby, trying to shut down those players that have gone aggressive, actually gives the bomb over. Yeah. And, you know, then with the other two being outside, they are so far removed from that situation that there's just no way you can win that round. Yeah, you're you're basing the entire round on one gunfight. And if it doesn't go your way, you've lost it, right? So especially when you've already seen two CTs in the lobby and two guns picked up, most importantly, even though Shush, after he gets his kill, he goes heaven, he gets boosted up. He makes a long rotate round, but Innocent didn't move. He still had an AK. And yeah, Mouse Sports, they're already at a massive disadvantage. Don't get me wrong, but can't give up before it's already gone through. Now pistols, these four spy wars favoring Mad Lions this time, back and forth. And Mouseports, they're not going to be inclined to continue buying in. I think this is the right decision, taking an eco and waiting for the uh, loss bonus to kick in. Really nothing in this one but a Deagle and a P250. Trying to cross outside is Chris, but he's going to get dropped by the AK. Roy is even closer as well, so it doesn't get easier for Mouse Sports. Flashed forward, lots of blind players, but no one capitalizing. That's not a worry, no rush for Roy. He knows they have to cross, and he's not going to make it easy for them. Oh, well, bit of damage done towards either side. That flash is going to leave everyone from ours blind. Oh. Oh. Okay. This is, like this is a weird little exchange now. Like, Mao's, yeah, okay, they're, they're in this four on four, but the danger should be pretty pretty mitigated now for Mad Lion. You know, they're, they're lining up everything else. Everyone else was low. And now they don't need to keep on peeking. Ooh, Ooh. almost, almost from Oxic. He's got one bullet. Oh. Uh -oh. There you go, Shush will lend you some. Yeah, this is a great start for Mad Lions, and Mousepot's at least waiting for the money to kick in is finally in that moment. We've got guns. We won't have the AWP yet, but we will for Mad Lions. Acor coming straight in with a drop from Innocent. Team player. I mean, why not when you've got that AK, especially saved from the second round, or third round, rather. Frozen. He's taken a hit. He's gone for the Galil to buy utils. So what's the game plan here for Mouse? The close smoke outside, and they're going to try and move behind red. Three in the lobby, and setting up towards ramp. Denied by the Molotov for now, but there's no rush. The rush is instead down secret. And we're wondering what those rotations are like here for Mad Lions at CT side. Shush is on his own, but he's smoked them off, and he's going to buy time here. Acor's got the AWP on ramp as well, so it's not an easy passage for Mouseports wherever they go. Shush was a star performer at last map on Vertigo, and we know how good Acor can be in this position too. The Flash dodged, and they had to get cross. Shush should know it, but he doesn't know how many players have made it down to Decon. They're going to come up the vent. Oh, okay, some kills found for Mouse, and now they sit in this five on three, and suddenly now it gets interesting, because yeah, it does look like it's going to be this A play up through the vent. That's a triple rotation for Mad Lions at ramp. Props is about to get all this information, and even then could Ooh. do a hell of a lot more than that, but just looking away at the wrong time, they lose Rops, and now, like, this... This might interest Mad Lions into actually going for this uh, this retake over at the A site. They're only a man down as they try and move in through heaven. They've got Roy flanking in through the back line. And with how they're posted up, it's going to be easy to judge this whole round based on the success of this Acillian flash peek in from heaven. If he gets a kill, you're going for this if you're Mad Lions. If he doesn't, then you back away and save on the others. And he takes that peek, nothing comes through. Now they lose Roy. That's where they go. All right, we get Give it a go. We gave it a try. Let's wave goodbye as Mouse Sports get their second on the board.
Yeah, very nice rotation uh, for Mouse Boss up the vent right there. Seeming, it was seemingly like the, the plan from the get-go. They were initially set towards ramp, but uh, it's always nice to do little tricks like that early in the game. You see it uh, especially on pistol rounds. I mean, Mouse Boss did it themselves here in their pistol uh, because you know that Mad Lions are going to be anti to rotate and they're not going to expect you to run like double fake strategies so early on in the map. They're going to expect more standard stuff. So Mouse Boss, they get B, they get secret, they get the kill on Shush on rotation and Mad Lions fully rotate ramp. They they all fall for it. They all go down towards B and Mouse Boss hop back up the vent, especially when they get an A pick. That only leans towards them. But uh, yeah, you can see a silly and bit frustrated there. Mad Lions obviously know immediately what went wrong and I imagine they're going to be a lot more lenient on those rotations towards lower moving forward. I think for Mouse Sports, they think about branding, you know, you need to get a Liverpoolian player and then you can be Scouse Sports. And I think that's pretty <laughs> legit, right? Is Hugo, man, thanks for letting that one sit out there. Yeah, I, I can't name any in. Liverpoolian no, players. I'm sorry, I'm Harry. In a really bad joke. Take it. Uh, which which map does Scout, Scouse Sports prefer? <laughs> Which map? Which no, it'd be which bomb site? I messed which up already. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, well, oh, there we go. I think the delivery like needs it. some work, Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> I like the content. Uh, yeah, you know, the, the content was there, the delivery. It's certainly not DHL levels, that's what I'll say. Roy nice. over here looking at these outside smokes, and well, Woxic spotted creeping Bye. through. Roy shutting him down. Man advantage taken for Mad Lions, and now they sit in a five on four. Innocent keeping an eye down here for the cross and Frozen has gotten past, but that's something that Mad Lions are aware of. Thanks to Roy over in Maine. And Molly's certainly given it up. They know he's still here. Innocent, if he gets this kill, this leaves Mad Lions in a great spot. If he doesn't, suddenly there's a lot more pressure down on B. So him getting that, winning that fight, leaves Mouse only with three. They've got no control down towards B and that's basically hamstrung them to have to make a play in towards ramp or upper. Yeah, no rush though. With Kerrigan in this position, he can either go up heaven or they could take A. I mean, ramp is clear, right? But Mousebulls don't know that. They're going to try and use Kerrigan to flank this position and kill anyone, Hellside, any AWP setting up CT. There's nothing though. Kerrigan smartly ducking below that CT position. We have seen A core there earlier. But it's going to be up heaven to A. And we've talked about these lower rotations. Mad Lions have got two of them right now. A course watching for the rafters. This should be an easy shot. And Carrigan walks right into it. He didn't want to make any noise up there. Mouse Sports, they're going to drop B where only a Cillian sits. We've had a rotate up the vent. So Mouse Sports moving quick. If they can get a bomb plant, that'd be a nice bit of cash injection. Big kill from Rops here. And the plant allowed. Mad Lions in for the retake with a huge advantage. A call waiting before he swings the doors. Here with the AWP, could do some damage. Roy moving in to the window room, gets his head taken off, and Acorn now going to swing that door open, Ooh. drops in with another. And this whirlwind has made it happen down towards B. Now in the 1v1, Rops needs four in the round if he wants to get a third for Maus, and Shush on the other side, Rops is going to nail it. Does it all, and even picks up the AWP for Maus Sports, tying this up at 3-3. Three to three. 2v5 from Mousebots on that B site as well. That's unbelievable, right? <laughs> Mad Lions going to be kicking themselves with these rotates. They they made the right read. They had two lower. Carrigan dies A, so they, they assume it's going to be a commitment to A, but Carrigan was just on the lurk on his own, trying to you know get a pick, sell a fake, do either of those options. And Shush comes back up towards A. Cillian loses his life on B, and even though Mad Lions slow down, you, you notice how Acor didn't open that door. He would have actually had Rops turn the wrong way looking at the window. If he did, that would have been his kill, but he tries to play it safe, play it by the numbers, the percentages, and wait for his team. And Mousewolves just force every fight really well towards uh, the window room of the doors. Great stuff. And that's going to leave them sitting pretty, especially when it comes to the money. I like this idea, Mad Lions. They know they've been dealt a lot of outside control by Mouse Sports, so they're going to set up in secret. They're not even going to try and fight on the stairwell. Maybe you send one player up and, you know, almost the the rush two down banana and then stack three inside of B site, you know, hoping that Mouse Sports rush off the back of the kills, but it's going to be five coming outside and they've got two kills to their name. Carrigan's cornered. Oh no, he's only going to get one. Chris J from above looking for some air support. He needs to get that bomb back under control. Asilian oh. stinked him down. That's a ridiculous shot. Will he be able to finish the job? Finding an AK as well. Chris has a player right below him. Asilian can just tuck, but there is a grenade on Rops that might finish the job. Asilian still standing, no more damaging utility. And so if he just stays alive, this position is going to be so valuable later. Rops is still scared of a flank 
And in all of this time, we have Shush, who, if the time gets low enough, can run away and play that clock. Chris looking to clear Innocent. He spotted Shush, he's baited in, and there it is, the eco win. Oh my. Full USPs, five down B to secret to outside, and they're going to win the round. Mad Lions, they, they just continue to bring in things I've never seen before. It's so entertaining to watch. I don't believe what I've just seen. <laughs> yeah, that can't feel nice. You know, if you're if your mouse, you've lost to USPs there. That's uh, that's grim, man. That's never fun. They try and get out into this A site, and Rops has gotten very, very deep, very, very quickly. Oh, missed shot, and Roy's going to bail out his teammate. Shush, he turns, and it's the turning that saved him, and then he finds another kill onto Chris J. Carrigan's alone inside of this A bomb site. He's deep within it, but the rest of the gang almost certainly aren't. If he had the bomb, he could maybe tap it to try and bait some of these peaks, but Woxic over at the vents is the man with the package. Going to get it into the site, tries to stick it. Peak gonna come through from Acor with that one-way smoke dropped outside by Innocent. Flash down, Roy finding one. There's a oh. flick from Acor, and it's only Frozen left. A Deagle and a Dream, 1v5. This is not gonna be an easy round for Frozen, and it's actually an impossible round for Frozen, especially with the bomb planted for Heaven. So five for Mad Lions, a fast eco play in towards A for Maus, but they invested into that round and they get really nothing from it. We were a little worried that maybe communication could be a problem for Mad Lions coming into this tournament, right? Without a lot of time to, obviously everyone speaks English, but without a lot of time to, to get used to the new style, to, to you know have one Polish player inside of a four-man Danish team with a Brazilian coach. I mean, look at the nationality mix. Uh, it's not been a problem at all. They, they've been to great calls. They give up the A site, they give Mouse Sports the respect, but they come in with five alive on the retake and don't lose a player. Mouse Sports, another pistol round for them. Can't rely on a hero AK this time. Acor, he's going to make the jump. Did he see Carrigan? I don't think so. Oh dear, they got the back turn and their head removed. Carrigan with the deagle. Can he find two? Acor still outside. Now the hot rush comes in. Innocent anchoring. He needs as many as he can get. He needs more than two because they're running him down for the sidelines. Deagle out. Takes down Woxic. This man won't stop, but he might have to get a reload in. Rops is going to run him down before that, and Acor comes in from heaven to support. Lovely stuff. Would have been easy to stay outside given Carrigan came through main, but that rotation saves his teammates' life and keeps Mad Lions in a commanding lead. If we look at like, you know, past even this one series and what this means to both of these teams, obviously, you know, elimination on the line. Uh, for Maus, I think it was so important on the back of the player break, on the back of having some time away from CS that they came in and they get off to a start that they can, you know, they, I didn't they have to win the event or, or make like some super deep run, but I feel like they needed a bit of a confidence booster, right? After the mental reset of time away. And this, if anything, is a very, very grim reminder of where they were at post uh, sort of pre-player break. Oxic does get taken out over here outside of Frozen, tries to pick up the pace, gets shot in the face. It's all a disaster. Mouse Sports, three on four. They do still have Rops waiting in the hut. Innocent's still here at the A site, and he's even got Roy moving over towards Heaven to give him a helping hand. Seems very aware that Rops <laughs> could have taken up this position, and he peeks it perfectly, deals with him. Chris J now down at the B site, and oh, he just looks away no. at the wrong time. Carrigan, 1v4. This man has delivered me some great clutches to talk about in times gone by, but is this going to be one of them? Innocent in the A site, locks it in. A seventh for Mad Lions. This is incredibly dominant thus far. Maus, it's back to the drawing board. No money left. Yeah, to echo what you said, I think that that's a very good point. I was hoping for at least playoffs here for Mouseports. You know, neither group is easy, right? This is clone for crying out loud. Every team is here for a reason, but they are in the, this is the easier of two groups. The, the group A, of course, the, the big names being big who were eliminated, Na'Vi, Complexity, and I'd say Mouse Sports would come under that top three inside of the group. Whereas you look at group B, you've got Fnatic, Astralis, FaZe, G2. And that's me just listing some of them. Vitality there as well, big talking point. But yeah, that's uh, it's a scary spot to be in right now for Mouse Sports. Mad Lions are coming in fresh and they look really, really good individually as well, innocent. I, I, I was one. I was super like curious about this move, considering you know 
You pull in someone who, who has no affiliation with Danish CS, but boy, is this a, a change looking great. Even in the series Mad Lions lost, Innocent was a top performer, and right now he's looking great on this A site as well. Cillian dealing with the ramp rush. Oh, through the smoke, he dodges the flash. They won't push fast, they're a bit separated. Chris going down first, Cillian with the support of the Orb from CT spawn, and Acor's gonna get another. Picked up the gun, but not for long. Rops is gone, and it's Woxig tucked. They might not know, but there are so many CTs collapsing on the ramp room. Three from Hell, and eight for Mad Lions. Now, sports, we've had a lot of pissed rounds, okay? We've had a lot of Ecos in this game so far. So let's see again with the litmus test of these gun rounds from our sports. They managed to get seven rounds against Na'Vi on Nuke on the T side, closing the map in their favor. But right now, this is looking like a shell of their former selves. This is the time to pick it up. Mad Lions have only rented that warehouse till 5 p.m. So they're trying to get this series <laughs> over and done with as fast as they can. They've got 40 minutes left on the lease. Mouse Sports, this is really not what we expected from them. This is, you know, we, we wanted at least a, a strong finish if their Cologne journey was going to be cut short. But it feels like they're in danger of going out with a whimper. They have to try and turn this around. Frozen, moving in behind these outside smokes. The rest of the gang with their eyes fixated at ramp. Acor is waiting with this all patiently as ever. And there's the first peak. He doesn't fall for it, bides his time, but it's a missed shot. And ramp room now conceded by Mad Lions. That allows Maus to move on in, but they lose Frozen outside. Carrigan snuck out through secret, or squeaky rather, into this A site. And he's going to uncover that there's nobody here. Oh dear, up the vent they go. Noise is going to get made. In it, uh, Cillian has no idea how deep Carrigan is as well. I don't know if Carrigan's realized he should have. Woxix coming in through the hut. Cillian backing up into Carrigan himself. Now a player on top of the hut. Now that is not going to be expected. Karen's, Carrigan just cleared this position. Shush dropping the bomb and falling back. Winning another fight. He will get traded through that door smoke. But now the jig is up. Mad Lions are on heavy rotations. Everyone is surrounding A. This is such a weird round. Oh. And it's going to get weirder by the second. Nay to close it out. And Mad Lions up to nine. That's so unlucky. Carrigan makes the perfect call, but he misses every possible timing. So it's literally a question of just Carrigan not hitting his shots because that shocked me. Well, no, he kills the first player in, but it's a guy on top of the hut, right? Mad Lions didn't know he was there. So as they come up the vent, the second player just jumps on top of hut. He drops the bomb. And at that point, it's just pandemonium in Carrigan's head. He's already just cleared that position. A's open. I've checked every spot. I've looked at every corner. Where are they? Well, they're where you just cleared. It, it, yeah, that must have been yeah, such yeah, a confusing that, that round. Is, that is like a horrific round because, yeah. you know, it, it's like... Carrigan hits the most perfect timing and then hits two very unfavorable timings, you know, on players in rotation up through the vents, the area he's just taken his eyes off of. And uh, as, as you say, like he, he's communicating, guys, the site is clear, I'm in it. And it was clear when he was in there. That is just, <laughs> no, that's so unfortunate for Maus. It feels like everything is against them at this point in time. And I feel like if any, you know, if you lose into the USPs didn't wreck the morale, that round there yeah, certainly will. Absolutely. Especially when they didn't want A, right? They were setting up for a B play. And in fact, Mad Lions were stacked B anyway. Even if Mouse Balls dropped lower, you know, I don't know how much better that would have gone for them, really. But probably better than how that went. Very deep smokes. That's going to land Hellside. I like that from Mouse Balls, but... How deep are they going to get? Carrigan again on the look. He's been getting a lot of good timings and opportunities. He's crept into main a couple of times and caught Shush on top of the hut. Is this going to be one of them? Fast out the hut for Chris. Shush is hiding in a smoke. He smoked the molly. They're not ready for it again. It is traded, but Roy will finish off Carrigan and the bomb gets dropped. Innocent has not lost a fight from the back of the site. An Acor shotgun orping in the vents. Dear, oh dear. Frozen in the position that Chris just got naded from. And now he's got to do the impossible. Oh, and there's the flank from Asilian to put a tenth on the board. It's a team ace for Mad Lions. Everyone chipping in, everyone doing their bit. This is uh, this is so grim, man. Like I, I wanted Mouse Sports to at least resurge here on their map pick and nuke. They looked good on it the other day. It looked like the one map they're feeling comfortable on, and that there just means you have to give even more credit to Mad Lions for this performance. 
Yeah, our Mad Lions are looking like a real powerhouse right now. As, as dire as this is from Mouse Sports, right? It, you know, they're making it difficult. They're making them work for every single kill. That's a good flashbang, though. Acor can't see a thing. Uh, bullets in the face. Orb given over. Roy needs to find something. Minus is going to try and bail them out. Now, this is getting messy. This is turning into chaos. And that's exactly what Mouse Sports want with these close range pistols. Nice shot from Innocent. Still standing strong and keeping two up in this round. But in, these, in this round, Rops has found a timing. He's going up towards towards heaven, now sports a stalemate in secret and shush up on silo. This silo position could make or break this round and as oh. they come up secret, shush rotates away. That is such a shame. Innocence taking up position down towards B, shush is inside of Hut just waiting here in the lobby. And with Rops up in heaven, this A site is tantalizing indeed. If you get a heaven post plant, it becomes a very tricky round to lose. Mad Lions, they, they've kind of realized now that with this big stool from Maus, it maybe isn't the B play. Shush comes back over here towards lobby. Spotting that Molotov and now Innocent begins his rotation as well. Ooh. Shush gonna nail that first shot and now we're into this two on two. Maus, this was looking like a round they had in the bag. They've tried to play it smart. Rops likely gonna get rewarded here for his patience over in heaven. And now for Shush, he's going to realize just how grim a situation this really is. With Rops in heaven, it is a very hard round for him to find much in. Baits the shot from Chris J. But Rops, as long as he plays timing, this round should be locked in. He tries to go for that trade. It doesn't present itself, but there it is. Swinging out late from heaven when he taps the bomb. Mouse Sports, they're going to get a fourth. Just about. Doesn't even save the orb though, doesn't get there in time, but hey, those are the rounds you need Rops to win. That's why you've got him here and great position gain from him. Uh, yeah, that, that was the B play initially, right? And you can see why Mad Lions wanted to drop C uh, drop ramp and, and go towards B after Mouse Sports took secret. But as you said, the stall, the slowdown and the lack of info gained on that lower bomb site was enough for Shush to double back. He almost makes it happen, but almost doesn't cut it. Four rounds. If Mouse Sports can make it five, this can still be a competitive series but that's still an if. Rops flashed out. He's going to hit the shot. There's a second player right there, though. Oh, dear. They're pushing from all sides. Mad Lions collapsing on the lobby. I love the call for the last round of the half. This is not something they've done yet. And Mouseports are going to just run right past it. The bomb is late, but it's still going to get down to secret unless Acor hits a timing shot. He can't. Carrigan down B. Asilian and Shush. Oh, they've been rotating B every single time to no avail. Well, this time, they are in the right place. And they are going to drop everyone on this lower side. That's everything. And now we're going to see what Mad Lions can accomplish on this T side. Yeah, this is this is very, very impressive indeed, right, for Mad Lions. And uh, considering the circumstances of having to sw swap things over to an English-speaking roster, bringing in Innocent on reasonably short notice, and now trying to make the best of a bad situation, they are really increasing their stock as individuals and as this squad. Bit of damage done in the pistol to kickstart this, but it's a fast A play and Shush opens up. Acor gonna follow through and now A belongs to Mad Lions. Now is in a three on five retake at this A site. Frozen trying to fire off a few chance shots to propel them back into the retake, but it's gonna be Rops finding that opener that maybe gets their foot in the door, but are they gonna be able to follow through on the back of it? No one's giving up anything here for Mad Lions. They're just tucking. Flash out. Shush goes aggressive. He knows Frozen's going to swing wide. And Rops from Heaven needs to hit something incredible. He can't. Mad Lions. I like that pistol as well. It's very basic. It's very simple. But you know Mouseport's going to be jittery when they're about to be eliminated from the tournament. And so what they do is they throw two players towards ramp. Rops makes the call. Woxic rotates out of uh, out of outside and comes towards ramp to help. And, and then Mad Lions double back despite showing two at ramp and run right into the A site that is one player the weaker than it should be thanks to that early misinformation so Woxic 2 and 15 right now having a really rough game and uh, I can't blame him the money just really hasn't been there for mouse sports we haven't seen those orbs in play Mad Lions been winning eco rounds they've been doing everything they can and now Smoke's in the yard moving fast Roy is hiding inside of it saving his own life and taking down Frozen that is such an awful way to go down for Frozen he almost hits that timing he almost sees the Mac 10 but then it pops him in the face out of nowhere he never knew it could be so close Rops is the early rotate down here towards B, armed with only a deagle. But this man is the only one right now showing the normal signs from our sports. 
He's got to do a hell of a lot, and Rops has got to do it single-handedly as they start to make their way down towards B. Rops is now falling back and starting to clear the ramp side. This has left the B site wide open. Mad Lions, they can just run in, and they've got full control. Rops at least gets the information that his backline is clear, but that's pretty grim compensation for losing this site. It does leave Maus in a four on five, which, you know, now is still a doable round thanks to that fullback. Woxic here, close. He's just seen a man, gets the tag off. A bit of damage traded either way. Rops sprinting in, makes quick work of Acorp. Shush holding from the double doors, has another kill to follow up with. Rops trying as best he can, but he's caught out in the open. And for Woxic, it's going to be a save on this scout. It's 13 for Mad Lions here. And that decision to force by from Maus means that they're not going to have rifles until a 14 to 4 scoreline. Yeah, we saw the same situation on Vertigo, sadly. If you remember back to that previous map, it was a dominant first half from Mad Lions, and Mouseports had one full rifle round. They lose it, they walk three out mid, they die, and then they just relied on, on forcing until that map swiftly ended, and very swift indeed. And that was after a 10-5 T-side from Mad Lions in the first half. This was even worse. This was an 11-4. So Mouseports, they just have no breathing room. Mad Lions stepping on their windpipe. We had Mad Lions win this eco in the first half. Can Mouseboards do anything like it? They've got a little bit more to play with. Rops on armor, some pistols out, flash outside. They go aggressive, but Asilian's waiting for it. And we got Roy and Shush with a couple of rifles from a range to pick apart the rest of this CT side. Rops alone and a long way from home. Well, he knows what they are, at least, but, <laughs> you know, I'm really looking what a positive for guy, Yeah, right? you know, man, like, <laughs> it's been a very, very clean round for Mad Lions. They play it by the book. They hear that flash going in outside. They instantly all peek to deal with that attempted eco push from Maus, and Rops might even just get shot in the back here. There's Shush putting him out of his misery. 14 for Mad Lions, and what a game they are having right now. Shush has looked so damn good, like back on Vertigo, incredible. Kept it up moving into Nuke. Just an absolute beast of a man, 14 to four, and looking to show Mouse Sports the door. If they get this round, it's 15 to four, and there is no money for Mouse. It's, it's all over at that point, and already, like, it's a, it's a damn near impossible comeback. Mouse need to be more resilient now than they ever have been before. Oh, it's a fast A play, a real way to test the waters and send a message early on. Innocent with the entry, taking an early man advantage. Molly's going to burn him out. Oh, even he extinguishes it and wasn't even getting roasted by it to begin with. Falling back into the lobby after taking Carrigan out of the equation early on. Now he's got to try and lead the remaining four players to victory here from beyond the grave. Outside smoke's getting lined up. I love this patience right now from Mad Lions, you know. All the pressure is on Maus, and they are letting them stew in that. They are being so careful with how they approach this. They throw these smokes outside, but this is just a bit of misdirection. Asilian is the only man pushing up behind them. And so Frozen's going to try and move in to deal with this. And he should have this kill here, dead to rights, at the very, very least. So they get the information that it was only one man outside. Rops. I love this position. He's holding, he's waiting, but Shush just annihilates him on that first peak, so Rops never gets anything done. Doesn't even get the info as to how many players are moving into ramp. The B site falls, and Maus, they've got to try and retake in a three on four. Just wave after wave of utility. No way to get back into the site. Shush has smoked, decon, there's a molly in the double. Roy's going to get flashed, but he dodges it, and oh dear, the doors fly open. Not that that was needed. Roy finds uh, both players and Chris in a clutch. He's Found the first on ramp, retrieving an AK. No kit, so time is of the essence. And the time in this tournament might be gone for Mouseports if he loses this round. Oh, that's a nice shot. He's not going to check close, though, is he? Gun out, but Acorn's going to clear it first. And Mad Lions, 15 to 4. They are staying in this tournament by the looks of things. They are fighting tooth and nail for the playoffs. And we are in a world 
where Mad Lions, despite losing their opening game, might still be able to get that playoff spot, assuming they close out this game, which I think is a safe assumption right now. Their following match to get into the playoffs is going to be versus the loser of Sprout and OG. Of course, we don't know what's going to happen there yet, but I think those, both of those are opponents that if we if Mad Lions bring the heat they're bringing today, they could certainly take down on a good day. So keep your eyes on this team. This might not be the last we see from them. Acors on the orb. There's 20, well now 25 kills on all of Mao's apart from Rops, and then Rops has 17. Like he is pretty much having to do it all right now, it feels like. And it, it can't just be a one-man band for this Mao Sports side. Carrigan's open this round up at the very, very least with an early nade kill onto Innocent, but is that going to be enough? I mean, even in the grand scheme of things, right, you get this one round, but then you need 10 more to force an overtime. That's not even for a victory on Nuke. This is a gross buy as well. Four Famuses and an MP9. Bleh. Yeah. I wonder if Acor's going to get cheeky, boosted up on top of Red. Woxic is holding from back in CT. He's had a very rough game. And he's going to struggle to get much usage out of this position with only that Famous in hand. Acor peeking above these smokes, trying to spot CT. Never sees him. So Woxic has an element of surprise here. Asilian coming back into the lobby. While he does deal with the first, he shouldn't be ready for Chris J. To go close, oh. but he reads it. And Asilian trying to send Mouse Sports home in a very dominant fashion. There's Shush coming in with another oh in the dear. flick back into the site. Shush has shot up Mouse Sports, leaving it all on Rops. 1v3. Oh, we didn't see the man back in lobby. He's getting pincered from main, but he's still fighting Rops. If anyone could get this 1v3 in the bag, it would usually be him. But Arm with only this Famous is going to be hard pressed, swapping out for another. Does get the AK at least. Kit as well back in the lobby, but a lot of time already ticking off of this bomb. Shush posted up close, Rops. There's an AWP trained in on Hut, so the moment he goes round this corner, he might meet his end. Missed shot from Acor, gives Rops a tiny bit more room, but running out of ammo, running out of time, and running out of chances here. Arm out sports, Acor's going to...